there isn't a dramatic shortage uh, in, in drivers. In fact, it's been like this for a long time. Uh, it's only if you, uh, you know, create a situation where uh, people start to queue, other people see the queue and, and, and on and on it goes. Fortunately, when it comes to tanks of petrol in, in people's cars, unlike, for example, toilet rolls or pasta at the beginning of coronavirus, there's only so many places that, you know, you can only you can only store a single tank of petrol. You can't then store it elsewhere uh, very easily. So uh, th this will resolve itself. But I'm very, very keen to put in place this massive uh, package of measures today to make sure that people are reassured. And in return, we're asking people to be sensible, only fill up when your car actually needs filling up. Mm. Uh, and this would then resolve itself. Uh, and uh, I'm afraid the thing which has sparked mm. this particular uh, sort of rush on the on the petrol stations is some fairly irresponsible um, briefing from one of the road haulage associations, which seems to have got this uh, this going. As I say, there so, there so, is. Sorry, you're, you're blaming the road haulage association. You're blaming the road haulage association for spreading panic. Is that what you're saying? Well, I see in the newspapers the, this morning that they briefed out from uh, from a meeting that they attended. One of the features of the situation we're in is there's been a shortage for a very long time. So this is nothing new. But as soon as you say to people uh, there's a, a shortage, people uh, tend to react. And it, it's not required. There's plenty of petrol in the country, as, as I say. If we all go back to buying petrol as we would normally buy petrol, this big package is going to do some things in the short term. And as you point out, okay. I'm doing some things that we wouldn't necessarily have wanted to do because we believe in fixing this market for the long term so that the driving drivers are paid well, better. And we welcome that.